Hello, all my friends out there, and welcome once again to The Smoke Report. I'm your host, Jay Todd, and on this show, we will be discussing smoking bans that went about things the right way. You heard me. I'm not bashing what these bans or proposed bans did, but you're going to have to wait a moment or two until the second half of the show if you want to find out what I'm talking about. Uh huh. Hmm. First, I wanted to address the ongoing saga of the electronic cigarette which allegedly exploded in a man's mouth down in Florida, taking out some of his teeth and a good chunk of his tongue. We reported the facts on this show as carried by the mainstream media. That didn't sit well with some of you who said that the press got it flat wrong, that the device had been modified. So soon the news sources out there such as ABC reported that the e-cigarette had in fact been modified. So we reported those facts. And that didn't sit well with some of you either. Look, uh, <clears throat> the uh, long and short of it is this, unless I can travel back in time to witness the event in person, there's really not much else I can do except look at the reports on the incident that are out there on the internet. However, some of our viewers claim that they have been in contact with the victim in this case and that the real story has yet to be told. That legal action is not beyond the realm of possibility. Personally, I hope the man does sue. Maybe then the actual facts will be made public and we could all move on one way or another. We'll be back in like 40, 50 seconds with the stories on the smoking man. Don't right. is a cigar called Hamlet, the mild cigar. guys long enough about this smoking ban stuff. Obviously, I'm not in favor of smoking bans in a broad sense, like I've said many times on this program. I believe most smokers understand bans at restaurants or on airplanes. What is not fair is that there's hardly ever a middle ground with most of the people who push these bans. That's why I appreciate these next stories. First, from Indiana where Indianapolis Mayor Greg Ballard vetoed a city council smoking ban in January because it included private clubs and veterans halls. It now appears the ban will go through, but exempts private clubs, cigar bars, tobacco shops, and veterans halls, so long as no children are allowed. Also, at Vassar College in New York, a recent poll was taken of the students there to gauge opinion on a campus smoking ban. When asked if the activity should be prohibited on campus, 65% said no. How about that? I'm guessing that nowhere near 65% of the students there smoke but it's a great sign that these college kids can think for themselves and understand and respect personal freedoms. In light of these results, no smoking ban is planned at Vassar College. Mm -hmm. So you see, my friends, those were good stories, weren't they? Kind of weird that anyone out there actually thought 
to seek the will of the people before enacting sweeping, blanketing changes to a policy. But who knows? Maybe things are going to turn around for us. We'll see you all on the next Smoke Report. You're supposed to be, supposed to be.